questions about that, that's a little bit of an understanding. But he has no proof. There's no proof in that. He was he played that game in high school. He did the massacre in his in his college senior year. There's no proof. Continue it on. He wasn't downloading music. He was he was lying. Well, he, he, Chris, I'm not going to start. Wait, we just talked to his, one of his sweet mates. He said he looked on the screen. He said he just saw him writing uh, linear uh, English, just writing yeah. apparently essays or plays when, or something. When he looked on the screen. You didn't even know what he was looking on the screen, you dumbass! The dorm roommates that were there didn't even know that he was playing Counter-Strike. There was not any occurrences in the college campus where he was playing Counter-Strike. He only played it in high school. What what part of it do you not understand? And of course he was downloading music. One of the music he can usually download is Shine by Collective Soul. He listens to that all the time. He even wrote one part of the lyrics on his dorm room wall. Jack Thompson even blames it 9-11 on video games. C can you believe this? He blames 9-11 on video games. Muslim terrorists were not playing video games. They had this planned out all along. Why are you blaming it? You have no fucking proof! Now you see... That's a perfect example of a soccer mom. Even though Jack Thompson doesn't look like a soccer mom, but that fits the term of what they are. And this surprised me to no end. Uh, soccer moms are blaming uh, smoking, for example, on candy cigarettes. I remember those when I was a kid, and I enjoyed them a lot. I, I even pretend I was smoking, but... It, did that encourage me to smoke? No. Guess what? Soccer moms are just saying, Hey, you're making these kids smoke. Take them out of your store or we'll sue you. And guess what? They did that. They banned it all because soccer moms saying it was going to encourage smoking. No, it's not. If you tell your kids about it, they won't smoke, you dipshit. And soccer moms are making a big deal on cereal. Did you hear that? Soccer moms are ranted about cereal. You want to know why? Because one reason they can't control their kids is because if you give children too much sugar, they're going to hop around the walls all day. Well, you want to know why this is happening? One, you didn't read the nutrition facts. And two, if you didn't even know how to raise your kid, why did you have it in the first place? Be a fucking parent! Stop blaming it! on products like cereal, candy, television, music, all that shit. Put the blame on your fucking selves, you fucking soccer moms. You're so fucking lazy. It's your fault for doing this. It's the soccer moms' fault for not telling their children the truth about periods like on Mary of Children, for example. It's their fault for not reading nutrition facts and it's their fault for not reading manuals or the rating system on films and video games. It's their fucking fault! Take the blame on yourselves, you dumb fucking soccer moms! It's your fault, and these kids are too young to understand, so it's not their fault until at their appropriate mature age, and you're blaming on some product or show that actually has a rating in it for a mature age. Now, getting back to the video game topic, uh, soccer moms want video games taken off the shelves is because they're afraid little Timmy is gonna be scarred for life because he saw blood, violence, and all the other stuff. Even though it was their fault in the first place of buying that game, unless the kid bought it without them being notified about it. So, if the kid actually bought it, it's the store clerk's fault. The parents bought the game without knowing they're ready. It's their fault. So, soccer moms, you are fucking dumbasses. Go smoke some weed, you dipshits. And you know what else is sad? About half of the soccer moms are Bible bashers. I actually have one, and it's actually my grandmother. Uh, I have a little cousin. I can't tell you his name, but I remember on the way home, I was telling him scary stories because it was Halloween. 
It's a time of year where kids like to know about scary stories. Though I wanted me to know more. And I realized to myself that if he had those dreams, it'd be my fault. Well, my grandma heard me telling my cousin those stories, and she said in the following, You should read to him Bible stories. <laughs> First off, he's six years old. He's not going to learn anything from the Bible. He doesn't understand. He needs to know when he gets older. He's a kid. Let him be a kid for once. And that includes to all of you soccer moms that are Bible bashers like my grandmother, for example. Now, I don't, I'm not saying I hate my grandmother. I love my grandmother. But I just hate how she bashes on my six-year-old cousin that he must know God or he needs to read the Bible. He's too fucking young! He needs to be a kid for once. Wouldn't be a kid, then he wouldn't run. Wouldn't worry about God. Wouldn't worry about his own fucking self. And you know what else pisses me off about soccer moms? I like to call it censorship. One of the worst censorships notarized on anime, for example, is making the, the cars on the roads go right instead of left as in the Japanese original. What is wrong with that? Kids are not going to notice. I mean, I just don't see the big deal. You're saying that... I, my guess is that Bible Bashers is going to say, We can't let them know about this. God forbid my, our children learning cultures other than ours. Our kids need to know all about our cultures instead of everyone's. Soccer moms, leave the kids alone. Let them learn what they want unless you want to tell them something. But don't brainwash them to not learn about other cultures. Let them learn on their own. If they need to know something, then you let them ask about it. I mean, watch over your kids. See what they're watching. And if you see something like that, don't go, I blame it on video games. I'm going to do Fox. We're showing Family Guy because it looks cartoonish. Talk to them about it. Just be a fucking parent. Just go on your life as a normal parent instead of bashing on everyone's life and get over it. It's just a fucking TV show or any references to media. So sadly, the term of soccer moms is that they all are mothers that love to blame everything but on themselves. They always want to shelter their children from the real world, which is kind of sad. I was sheltered because I have a disorder, but I grew up to be more intelligent enough and I was able to realize about the full world. And guess what? Life is tough. It's the real world. Get over it. Stop sheltering your fucking kids. Let them grow up. Let them be kids. And when the real world gets them, talk to them about it. And the last thing I want to talk about, soccer moms, really? PISSES ME OFF! Remember Transformers? A big blockbuster hit around the summer? It was a good movie. But it's not the greatest film, but it was a good film. Guess what? A soccer mom was ranting about the film. Just one per soccer mom was offended. And guess what she says? She said that I grew up watching cute shows. And when I heard about the Transformers, I took my son to go see it. Then when I saw it, I was offended by hearing cuss words hearing from robots. Plus, I thought the Transformers was supposed to be cute and funny, but instead, it's supposed to be evil. Also, it had sex jokes, and also, it was not portrayed as a kid's film, and therefore, I was offended. Okay, soccer mom, did you know that Transformers was, I don't know, rated PG-13? If it was supposed to be cute and funny, then the film would have sucked. Plus, the only curse words that were in the film was shit and damn. That's it. And another one was one of the robots said, Hey, what's up, bitch? Now, I'm going to say this one more time. It's rated PG-13. It's supposed to be based in action. Plus, it's not supposed to be a kid's movie. Get it through your fucking damn mind. That's it! I'm done!